this time last week I had the air conditioning on. Uh, all right, I wanted to do a quick video because it's the middle of the night and for no reason I got really excited. And wow, in this light my skin looks awful. All right, so I just found out two things Two little news stories, kind of simultaneously. Just wanted to talk to talk about them, like briefly, because it got me kind of jazzed up, just a little. Alrighty. So, news story number one, and it's not a news story yet. It's kind of a, it's still up in the air. It's a suggestion of a news story. Both, of, well, the first one is. Uh, it's, anyway. Um, recently. Disney has kind of revealed that just hints they, you know, put a little uh, picture up on the their Facebook thing where it's like the Flynn's, the arcade from the first Tron movie and also I guess the second one too kind of, hey, welcome back. Like, oh, they're going to do another Tron movie. Hey, you know, which seems inevitable. I mean, I think it's cold in here. <laughs> And it is, because it is. And at the same time, eh, they're going to do this sooner or later. Right? But here's the thing. At the same, I think it's the same day even, James Gunn posts a picture of himself. Like, ah, here I am in my office, and oh, mysteriously, there's a Tron light cycle here for no good reason. The implication being that, hey, maybe James Gunn is going to be the director for Tron 3. And I've mentioned in the past, I'm a big fan of James Gunn. Uh, loved Guardians of the Galaxy, loved specials way back in the day. Um, the idea that... And, and, and I'm a, fa a fan of the Tron 2. Uh, it wasn't a perfect movie, but visually it was beautiful. It was gorgeous. It's very different, very interesting, and the yeah, story was okay. So, the idea of combining those two, and uh, part of the story on uh, Movie Pilot was that apparently James Gunn in the past had suggested that he wanted to be involved with, um, with Tron 2 in the first place. And now that you know, 2010 is a long time, a long time ago. That's when two, uh, Tron 2 came out. Now that that's kind of in the past, and that movie did okay, but James Gunn has done really, really well, especially with Guardians of the Galaxy. And maybe with Guardians of the Galaxy 2, maybe he's gonna get to do it. That would be, I think that'd be really cool. <laughs> that would make me really happy. Happy time, new story number two. Okay. So, I haven't seen anything official other than a thing saying it's official. But on the Marvel Cinematic Universe website, uh, Facebook page, there's this, there's this graphic now saying, it's now officially confirmed, let me just read the thing, it's right here. It's now officially confirmed that we will receive three Marvel Cinematic Universe Netflix shows next year in 2007, which is really interesting. Uh, one, that means the Punisher is getting his own show. We already knew about Iron Fist and the Defenders, which I'm stoked about. I'm, I'm, after the build-up so far, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm on board. But uh, the thing was, I don't know if I mentioned this before in a video, apparently the story goes something like this. Uh, someone was asking, I forget who the showrunner for the Netflix cinematic universe is, but they'd asked them, hey, is Punisher getting his own series? And, and he's like, no, 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 that's, that's not really in the future right now, we're not really looking at that. But before Punisher, before season two of Daredevil, where the Punisher appears, even came out, like, fan interest was so high that they kind of capitulated. They're like, oh, well, shit, everyone wants to see it. Fuck it, well, we can do it. And did it. And they're, they're, they greenlit a Punisher series. 
So there's going to be a Punisher Netflix series, which I'm really, because John Bernthal's, uh, I can never pronounce his last name, his Punisher was amazing. It was, it was really worth watching. And the idea of three of them is intriguing, because if I'm not mistaken, next year, 2007, is the first year we're going to have three... Marvel Cinematic Universe no. movies out. Okay, Black Panther is 2018. Thor Ragnarok. So the last, the third, probably the last uh, Thor movie is 2017. Spider-Man: Homecoming, Guardians of the Galaxy. What an exciting year for Marvel. Three. God, Guardians of the Galaxy is going to be so good. And Spider-Man, like Tom Holland's Spider-Man looks amazing. He was, he was so fantastic in the Civil War movie. And then, yeah, I'm excited about Thor Ragnarok, too. Uh, be nice to see uh, Tom Hiddleston. And apparently... Oh, what's his name? Cats. Anthony Hopkins as Odin. This is, I mean, this is an exciting year. I'm very excited for this. Six Marvel, I mean, three series, three movies. Like, I'm sitting here wanting to do, like, talk about movies, and it's like I'm in this Darth of talking about dark minds and shit like that, like, thing non-existent movies, and, like, next year it looks so... Like, there's a lot to do next year. Because on top of this, uh, a late season of Game of Thrones, um, Rick and Morty's coming back. God, 2017 looks great for media. But no, that's that's my little spiel. I just wanted to do a quick video, kind of, because I got super stoked. It's late at night, obviously. It's, it's always dark in here, but it's particularly dark because it's like, it's late at night. But I just saw those two news items literally right, right above one another, and I'm like, oh, whoa, <laughs> you know, like it's Christmas early. So wanted to talk about it. The funny bit is, I think the Netflix, the Marvel Netflix universe, which is what it properly is. There's, it's not cinematic, it's not the cinema. So the Marvel MNU and the MCU MNC, MNU and the MCU Okay, we're going to go with that terminology. Although it's quite a mouthful. Um, are kind of competing with one another to be, which, to be my favorite expression of Marvel Although I really like the X-Men movies this year. I know it wasn't as popular, but I really liked Age of Apocalypse. God, I am really stoked for the... It's mostly the... Net, I mean, I want to say it's mostly the Netflix thing. But Spider-Man's exciting. Interesting, if nothing else. And Guardians of the Galaxy, what a cincher. <laughs> and, like a month ago... I did this video where I try to figure out what are my what are what I thought were objectively the five best Marvel movies, which are also like, hey, these are my favorites. Man, by the end of next year, that's gonna be really tough. That's gonna be really tough. Thor Ragnarok. Oh. Just my musings late at night because I'm sleepy and and I saw something exciting that kind of woke up my brain for half a second. Uh, like and subscribe if you're inclined to. Um, that's me. I'm out. I'm way out.